Hello, my name is Alex Gerekis and I want to welcome you to my Finding Law Civilization series. Today, we're in the state of Sonora, Mexico, in the municipality of Alamos. And what we're going to do is we're going to get on a raft, we're going to go down the river Mayo. What we're going to do is explore the bank life of a desert river. We're going to see birds, we're going to see animals, we're going to see nature. It's going to be a wonderful trip. Our first stop will be at a sacred hot spring. You know, this river now is controlled by the dam. But many years ago, when the water dried up, the Indians found a hot spring. And this hot spring, this water bubbling up from the earth was a source of life and a sacred worship spot by the Mayo Indians. Now from this spot, we're going to go to the village of Santa Barbara. This village at one time was the holdings of a large hacienda, which has now since been abandoned and is in complete disrepair. And in the little town square, we'll see a church, which also has been abandoned. And in this little town square, we're going to meet a Mayo family. So this should be a lot of fun. Now from the Mayo village, we're going to go down a river, and we're going to pull off to the side and walk up an old arroyo. As we go up this arroyo, we're going to pass a bridge. This bridge was once the roadway to what was called the Camino Real. It ran all the way from Mexico City up to New Mexico, the United States, what is known as the United States now. An ancient road built by the Spaniards, okay? And in this arroyo, we're going to find ancient symbols. We're going to find a spiral, okay? I love finding spirals. There are symbols in that arroyo that I've seen throughout all the Americas. And we always ask ourselves, how could these symbols all be the same? Why would a symbol in perhaps South America and Canada be the same or Australia? Well, what we seem to forget is that we're all connected. So we should have a wonderful time. Come with me and enjoy yourself along the River Mayo. at the River Mayo and right by the river there's this uh, hot spring and what we're looking at is the uh, source it's bubbling up over here and let me bring a sun in there isn't that fantastic the source for the uh, hot spring
Boy, this is great. I'm going to show you something. Look at this. This is a handprint. <laughs> I love to see this, you know. And these aren't cave paintings. There's a lot of cave paintings that have a hand. They put the hand on a wall, and then they, with their mouth, they put the paintings, and they blow on it, or they spray powder. This one is actually etched into the rock, so this is a true petroglyph. This whole wall here is covered with symbols. I found a spiral, the ever-present spiral, and next to the spiral I found another cross. And I found many symbols over here that are very similar further south in Mexico, and not only in Mexico, that I've seen in Arizona and Utah and California. So we're all connected some ways. You know, if people are very regional, they think they're the center of the earth of where they stand. They have no idea that maybe our seed, our tribe, is way spread all over the world, okay? So you'll find symbols in many places of the world that are exactly the same, and people say, how come? Well, we're all connected, that's why. Well, anyways, let's continue our journey in finding lost civilization. And thanks for